The following program was produced at the media facilities at Hofstra University School of Communication. Ready three. Ready take three. Resources have to come from the generosity of people who want to see Hofstra flourish and who want to see the next generation succeed. Barb and Florence are dedicated, philanthropic, and interested in bettering the community. They realize the importance of Hofstra University to the growth of Nassau County, to the growth of Long Island. It's so right that we honor uh, Florence and Bob. Over the years, they have done so much to help organizations do good things for people. I graduated in 1957. We had uh, Quonset Huts. It was a commuter school, very blue collar. All the students worked as well as go to school. Had no dorms, but it had a spirit and a strength that was very special. It was always clear that uh, Hofstra was destined to be a very special and top-tier university. It was always very clear that we had a long way to go. Uh, we were very young, uh, established in 1935, so uh, some of these schools had been around so much longer. Florence saw her role as building the foundation for the university to do the things it's doing today. Uh, we joined the Board of Trustees together. 25 years, we sat next to each other at board meetings, and she was an outstanding trustee. She was always there when she was needed the most. Both Robert and Florence were people who were always interested in their community. They were involved in many philanthropic things on Long Island at that time. They were already involved in North Shore Hospital and worked as a team on many of these projects. But this was a time for Florence to emerge. She's quite a unique woman. She's intelligent, she's forceful, she's got wonderful taste. They made their first major dedication, and uh, it was the atrium in front of uh, Hofstra Hall, which was very important, and it demonstrated to a lot of the other trustees how important it was to support the university. There was an opening on the board for a trustee. They did have two women, and they wanted another woman. I was really quite surprised and taken back. I eventually did say yes. And I must say that I was really honored to be part of that group. Florence has spent 25 years as a trustee, and we elected her a trustee emeritus, which uh, we don't do very often. We're here at the dinner tonight to honor the cow yeah. Also, to help with our scholarship fund, I would not have completed my first four years at Hofstra without scholarship assistance. I wouldn't have done my graduate work without scholarship assistance. So I have a very special feeling for people who help young people get through an education financially. I, I think it's important to give young people a chance who would not have a chance. And I think that's what's motivated Bob and I to become sponsors for scholarships. I don't know how there could be a doubt in anybody's mind if you're going to live a decent life. You go around Healy as best you can. So I don't know what's so special about it. It's the way people should be. It aids the university in bringing in people from diverse cultures, backgrounds, and nationalities from all over the it world. It actually doesn't come directly to the adjudication system. I wanted to go to Hofstra University, but our family didn't have the financial capability to come to the school. The only option for me was to go back to Korea and continue my education there. Two weeks before my departure, I received a letter saying that I received a full scholarship. My family got really excited. I got really happy. It gave the information about the people who gave the scholarship. It was the Kaufmans. Florence as a trustee always was in favor of medical school for Hofstra University. And she was one of the early supporters with Bob. I was chairman of North Shore back in 1990. And in those days, we thought about it and dreamed about it. So it was just something that we knew, I felt, was going to happen someday for sure. 
And it did. I'm very pleased, obviously. It's, I think it's going to be very successful. With the Newton Medical School, uh, starting out with a smaller class than we ultimately will have at Build Out, which will be in a few years. We began with a 60,000 square foot building, and so we've already engaged an architect to add a 70,000 square foot extension, and the two wings will be melded together in a seamless manner. And we expect to begin to break ground on the new extension right after the presidential debate. We don't announce until we vetted it and committed ourselves to it. We said we were gonna create a medical school. Now we have a medical school. We said we were going to raise SATs over 100 points, and we did. We said we were going to create a school of engineering and applied science. The board approved that unanimously. We said we're going to apply for presidential debate. to say we are really excited to have uh, people here looking at us as a potential debate site. Welcome Barack Obama and John McCain. And we not only got the presidential debate. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Hofstra University and. But did it so well that we got it again. There were kids from New York. And I'm looking forward to uh, covering uh, your debate. We said we wanted to create a secular center for religious so studies, and now we have chair, thanks to the Kaufmans and Jewish studies, we have courses on every major religion. We have been able to put our vision into reality. And what we can say to a donor is they should rest absolutely assured and be confident that every dollar of their generosity will be put to the use that we promise and will be put to good use because, frankly, I think we've established that we know how to use the resources once we have them. Recif is today a city not far from the coast of Brazil. I, th I think Brazil the Kaufmans have really done an extraordinary thing by supporting Jewish studies, by really bringing Jewish studies to Hofstra. Just by establishing this position, they've gone a long, long way toward putting Jewish studies on the map. Uh, and that means both for its students as well as for the academic community. But to understand Judaism is to understand a majority of the world's religious experience. On a daily basis, I'm grateful to, uh, to the Kaufmans for this opportunity to, uh, to both open minds and, in some respects, to heal, to heal hearts as well. In American Jewish history. Robert and Florence Kaufman, it's very difficult to fully express how grateful I am to them. First of all, for their friendship. I can't say enough about how important you are to Hostra's past, to Hostra's present, and to Hostra's future. Thank you so very much. I'm having a great experience in Hostra, and I would like to thank the Kaufmans for giving me this opportunity. You richly deserve this honor, and it is my pleasure to congratulate you. I wish you all the best in the future, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all you've done, and will continue to do. Florence, I'm Bob. On behalf of Sandra and I, and the board of the university, our heartiest congratulations. Thank you, Florence. Thank you, Bob, for all that you've done for us. I really feel that whatever I did for Hofstra was nothing compared to what Hofstra did for me, because Hofstra gave me my identity, and I was very proud of it.